All right, so here's another video for 1HT, this time about exercise 69. As you can see, the exercise looks really difficult, so that's why I wanted to explain it. In the order of operations, it says that first you have to do time, so we're going to do this first, that first, that first, all of that, and then we're going to do plus and minus after that. So for the first one, first we have to do a to the power of 3 times a to the power of 2. Now what you learned is that you have to add these powers, so you get a to the power of 5, plus... 3a to the power of 5. Well, if the powers are equal, you can add them. And then you get 4a to the power of 5. So that's how exercise 69a works. Then we're going to go to exercise b. Here you have to calculate this and that first, and then we can add it, maybe. So here you have 2a to the power of 4 times a to the power of 2. So that's 2a to the power of 6. Plus, and then here we have 5a to the power of 3 times a to the power of 3. So that's also a to the power of 6. And then when you add it, you get 7a to the power of 6. Moving on to the next one, we see times here, so we have to do that first. So I'm going to copy minus 7a to the power of 8. And then we're going to calculate what this is. 2 times minus 3 is minus 6, so we have plus minus 6, so that's just minus, right? And then you have 2 plus 6 is 8, so a to the power of 8. Well, the powers are the same, so now we can just add them. And minus 7 minus 6 is minus 13, a to the power of 8. Moving on to 69d, here you have this times and that times, we have to calculate that first. 8 times 3 is 24, and then a to the power of 7. Then we have minus times minus, so that will be positive. And 3 times 2 is 6, or 2 times 3, like that. And then 8 to the power of 7. So 24 plus 6 is 30 a to the power of 7. And these are the answers for exercise 69. Thank you for watching.